Lovely plane. Really, it's very, very, very nice. Controlled, perfect tone, perfect dynamics. Fortissimos where they belong, diminuendos. Just everything was working. Um, pretty clean. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to talk about in the next uh, uh, 15 minutes? It's pretty rare, actually, in solo and ensemble contests that you hear someone play a piece that's just in the pocket, so to speak, well within your technical abilities, and then you get to, since you're not fighting the technique at all, you get to make music. And so that's what we don't often get, and you definitely make music today. That's really, really tremendous. Um, so what other pieces? How long have you worked on this? Uh, like uh, November-ish. November-ish. And yeah, that's I got it. other pieces that you played before? Um, in the system. In the Suzuki? Yeah. yeah, I've gone through like the Vivaldi from the beginning of that book, but then we kind of skip to the end. Yeah. So they are nice. nice. Very nice. Uh, yeah. yeah, excellent. And tell me again, what year, what year in school are you? I'm in eighth grade. You're in eighth grade. Yes, okay. I kind of had to pick. That's happened to me twice today. One other eighth grade, eighth grader, a bass player played for me and I thought he's a sophomore for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have you in that same you, you gotta be a sophomore. On the screen. <laughs> but I guess not. Okay, so then that, that would be one of the reasons why it doesn't say go to state on here. Because you're you're playing so crisp and clean, even if the piece isn't quite as hard as most of what the kids play at state. You're definitely gonna be there in the next couple of years, that's for sure. It's very nice. So there's only one one little thing. Where, where did you have a big surprise? Um, you had one like, kind of big surprise. We all saw it on your face. <laughs> there was after my the fault. piano solo. <laughs> no, it was it did. after the piano solo when I was just that one that was wrong. It, it was, was after. Like, yeah, right. Everybody saw it, right? We all knew. <laughs> but wait, even if you weren't listening, you, you knew, right? Because uh, you showed us. <laughs> um, <laughs> what was impressive was that it didn't it didn't bother you at all. The, you played just fine right after that. A lot of times students would get a little flustered, but that was quite nice. So how are you gonna what what step didn't you take or what steps didn't you take? You mean when I was learning this piece? No. To play or, that note in tune. Um I kinda rushed to find my place. Usually I put my fourth finger down, put my one, and find it from there. And I just kind of did that really fast. And What's another way of saying I rushed to find my place? Um, I don't know. Well, why were you, why were you hurried? Because I was nervous, I don't know. Uh, okay, okay. What, maybe you should have started trying to find that note sooner. Uh, and yeah. then you wouldn't have been rushed. Yeah. Every, every every cello soloist I've ever played with, and I'm in the orchestra and they're the soloist, no matter when they're coming in after something like this, they're always testing the note. They have the orchestra playing behind them, it's loud, a lot of stuff is going on, and they're, they're there. So if you put your the C string peg in your ear, very near your ear, now let's see if you can find that B, but we can't, we're not, going to be able to hear you. You have to do it so softly up there that we can't hear you testing it. Use your bow. Well, too loud. Testing with my bow? Mm -hmm. Softer. Bounce mm -hmm. the bow so we can't even hear. Uh, I can't hear that. Of course, I'm old. I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> I the youngsters in here. Can so anybody loud. hear that? <laughs> just get down. Just get down. <laughs> see, see how you could do that? It, you're counting rest, you're listening, you're paying attention. You could go through your steps just like you did. The G. And then tapping, popping your fingers really good. But you have to have a lot of quiet in the room uh, to hear that. So 
put the peg in your ear and just bounce it and no one can hear you, especially with the piano going on, then and then you're just you set to go. And you don't want to do it too early. You don't want to rush it. You move your hand up there within the gesture and the music. What measure was that? This is right at the end of your uh, 187, or is that 87? And on after your solo. His opening statement goes oh. on for measures, and then you have about 12 bars or 16 yeah, bars. Yeah, we cut but yeah. Yeah. Oh, so when he gets his, oh, okay. Yeah, he yeah. comes in on the high B, yeah. So we could, why don't we do that just for fun? So I give him, um, oh. Oh, I want him to have to listen to all of it. Okay. Let's play the last, your last participle. So play your last three and a half measures. Okay. Uh, yep. So. <laughs> 